Oriel of Ireland, our umpa, and Soren Knudsen of Denmark, our service judge. So these two players do not train against each other on a daily basis because they're based at different academies in India. AJ Jayaram, well, he's up three places in the world ranking this week to 43, but he has been as high as 23. And of course, back in 2011, he was a quarter finalist here at the Swiss Open, losing out to the eventual champion Park Sung Wang. What on earth happened to Park Sung Wang? I wonder. Anyway, there's his opponent, the number one seed, Srikanth Kadambi, who yesterday had to play against the number eight seed, uh, Takuma Ueda of Japan. Incidentally, he had been to three games in the third round against Emil Holst of Denmark, having dropped the opening game, came back in an hour and seven minutes to win the third and deciding game, 21-18. As far as this man is concerned, AJ Jayaram, well, yesterday he had to beat the birthday boy, Kasuma Sakai, who... In celebrated his 25th birthday yesterday. Would you believe it? 25 years ago, that's when we had the first ever Swiss Open, and that's when Sakai was being born. Three games he needed to beat Sakai. And Sakai, we know, was in good form because he won in Portugal last week. Shrikanth last week didn't have the the best of tournaments lost in the first round of the All England Championships. Despite being the number four seed, lost out to Kenta Momoto in three games. So this will be the second time these two players have met each other in international competition. The first was back in 2012 when Shrikanth Kanam beat AJ Jayaram in the round of last 16 at the Said Modi Grand Prix Gold. So the unseeded AJ Jayaram nearest to us as we look down on the court getting this semi-final underway oh. oh that can't have been long by much my goodness Yeah, it's a good start by Jayara. Second semi-final of the year. Reach the semi-final of the Malaysian Grand Prix Gold, the first Grand Prix Gold event of 2015. Yeah, you're going to have to be careful about that because I think Srikanth, one of the quickest players, onto the net. He's a good attacking player. He's Srikanth Kidambi. Yeah, and I think the best way to deal with an attacking player is uh, to attack first. So I always think of AJ Jayaram as a beautiful shot maker great skills don't necessarily think of him as an aggressive attacking player
Yeah, that's a nice angle. He's got good variation on his attacking play, has Shrikanth. They're slicing across the feathers. So the racket head comes through quickly. But because you've sliced across the feathers, shuttle doesn't go that quickly, but comes down very steeply. Well, Shrikant started last year, ranked 47 in the world. He had to qualify for most Super Series events he was at. There he is. And by the end of the year, he whizzed up the ranking to number four in the world. Oh, yes. And, of course, Shrikant really shot to stardom at the last of the Premier Super Series events last year in China. Because he won the title, his first Super Series title, beating Lin Dan, the Olympic champion, in the final Yeah, nicely worked from AJ Jayaram. Oh, line, line judge unsighted but the umpire makes the call says it was out decisive umpiring Nine, six. Well, of course since that big win in China Shrikan is now under huge pressure especially when he plays against teammates This is a run of five straight points to take us to the mid-game interval. AJ Jayaram. Six all it was. No, 11-6. Yeah. Real concerns about Shrikant last year. When he was found collapsed in July in the locker room of the academy where he trains, the Palela Gopi Chand Academy, rushed to hospital and was discovered to be suffering from melangitis anyway. He made a full recovery. Thank goodness. Now, no coaching staff involved because both players from the same nation. Just long. Oh, mate, that's six straight points. Well, that was me suggesting in the women's singles that the drift was making the shuttle fly a little bit faster, going towards the far end of the court as we look down. Uh, there's a, been a couple that have been hit long coming towards us.
Oh, that's a super angle. Missed it. Well, the fans here in Basel, I don't think, know which player to support. Two players from the same country playing against each other. But I think this is a fascinating contest. Ooh. Well call in both ways yep good call line judges uh, it's interesting to me that AJ Jayaram I think has been a lot more aggressive than he usually is because he wants to stop his opponent from hitting attacking shots because that's the problem when he does. Good judgment, he knew immediately. Missed it. That's interesting, when he was a youngster in junior ranks, Shrikanth Kadambi was believed to be too physically weak to play men's singles. And therefore, he played doubles and mixed doubles. That's nicely done from AJ Jaram. And he switched to a non vegetarian diet. Put on muscle, got stronger. And now he's one of the world's best men's singles players. His opponent to try out a new racket. AJ Jayaram didn't see him break a string, but he's certainly taken a new racket. Struggled last year, did AJ Jayaram with injury problems. Yeah, seeing him back and seeing him play as well as this, it's really good to see.
Oh, yes, that's a lovely angle. He's got such a lovely overhead action, has this young man. Turned 22 last month, did Shrikanth. the sort of attacking play that we're so used to seeing from Strickkant. Oh, what a net shot on the return of serve from AJ Jairam. What a nice way for him to bring up three game point opportunities. First time of asking, and the unseeded AJ Jayaram takes the opening game against the number one seed, Shrikanth Kadambi. Confirmed by the umpire, 21 17. 14 minutes of play. Indian coaches are they'll be sitting somewhere in the crowd and loving this encounter because of course they're guaranteed a player in the final young fans in that's always good to see at sporting events so having taken the opening game 21 17 the unseeded AJ Jayaram far side of the court gets this second game underway Goodness. Well, he put that away very efficiently indeed. Backhand kill. Oh, yes. And the disguise, the lovely shot making that I was telling you about in the opening game. dive got it back yeah and ended up winning the rally full stretch back up again magnificent back up again and quick enough to play the smash on the very next shot that's extraordinary.
good rally. Very good rally. Yeah, it was excellent defence there from AJ Jayaram. The block, first of all. Look at the lift there. And then watch this. He lifts off the smash. Catching Shrikanth out of position. Shrikanth was coming forward, looking for the block once again. Oh, clever. Very, very clever from AJ Jayaram. Good reactions. Gone wide and long. Well, it's all a very, very different scenario now for Shrikanth after his big win in China last year. With success comes pressure, not only external pressure, but self imposed pressure as well. And for Shrikanth Kidambi, this is his third consecutive appearance at the Swiss Grand Prix Gold. And first time, actually, he's progressed beyond the first round. Last two years, lost in the first round, including last year, when he was the number five seed. Oh, thunk called. Judged. I guess to have struck the shuttle before it came over the line of the net. Oh, look at that. Well, apologises immediately for getting the neck cord. Well, what a delightful shot. Look at that. Hits the top of the tape, tumbles over. Great angle. Yeah, I think from Shrikant's perspective, he needs to take a little more initiative in the rallies. Play his more favoured style, his attacking style. And a number of times defensively, AJ Jayaram playing exactly the right shot at the right time. Sometimes blocking, sometimes turning the shuttle. And as with that previous one, lifting off the smash. Yeah, now that's the sort of shot that says to me that whatever the look, 
externally, internally. I think he's a little bit nervous. Oh, good net play. Well, that probably bro blows my theory because it's, I always think it's the touch shots that are so difficult when you're nervous. And that's another perfect net shot. Yeah, there's the good defence game from Jayaram. Yeah, it's gone long. thinking I was probably correct about the drift and about the shuttle going a little bit faster towards that far end because that's a couple of the last three rallies that Shrikant has hit long. And it means that AJ Jayaram has a three-point advantage here in the second game, having already won the first. Mid-game interval. Ah, oh, crikey. Now, you know, I remember him when I was playing well, I played here 22 years ago. Or was it 23 years ago? That's a nice net shot from AJ Jayaram. Only four seeds left in the draw by quarter-final stage yesterday. And only two seeds here at semi-final stage. 16 seeds in the men's singles, of course, with a draw of 64. Sadly, we lost four seeds before the tournament began. Yeah. Now, why on earth hasn't Trickham been doing that sort of thing earlier on in the match? Probably because this man hasn't allowed him to. He's a very nice young man, is AJ Jairam. Always finds time to say hello to me and very polite. Oh, that's a good smash. Goodness, look at that. Yeah. Is that telling? He was standing at the net. The shuttle didn't come over, but he refused to pick it up. Look at that. Oof, very nearly did come over. Of course, good sportsmanship dictates that the player who's hit the shuttle into the net should hand it back to an opponent. Five straight points to go into the lead. Shrikanth. That's gone long. Six straight points. The sides that a new shuttle is required.
Oh, I thought that was going long too. That one certainly has. Taking too long in between those rallies. Well, the run comes to an end, but those seven straight points. I wonder if that's the turning point. Gone wide. Nine of the last ten points going to Shrikanth Gadambi. And now he's just three points away from forcing a third and deciding game. Suddenly, just became more aggressive in his style of play. Started to command the rallies a little more. But that's gone long. Oh, net shot so good and so tight from Shrikanth that AJ Jayaram still couldn't deal with it. Look at that. What great control at the front of the court. Okay, he tries, he's desperate, but the shuttle was tumbling upside down as it crossed over the net. And therefore it's so difficult to time it properly. Two points now from this second game. Oh, make that one point. Wow, this is astonishing. 12 of the last 14 points. That's long. Yep, second time of asking. And we're going to be treated to a third and deciding game. Crikey, just 31 minutes for the two games. One game all confirms the umpire. Look at the aggression on that smash from Shrikanth. And it is indeed one game apiece. Now oh, there's signs of the back injury. It's been troubling AJ Jayaran. Well, he's been in six career finals so far, has AJ Jayaran. Last last year when he won the Dutch Grand Prix.
So the players back on court for the start of this third and deciding game. And a good start by the number one seed. Good control on the net play. Yeah, a little shake of the head. I lost all pictures. I lost all pictures. Yeah. I need to look back at it. I don't know whether it was just me or whether it was on the satellite. Sorry? Turn black. Obviously, these early stages absolutely vital as far as both players are concerned. Want to get a good start to a third game. Oh, well taken. My goodness me, that was quick. I told you it was fast coming forward. Mm. Oh, good. seeing the longer rallies that we saw earlier in the match at the moment and that's perhaps understandable both players know how important it is at the start of this deciding game yep another short rally short oh did he miss it Oh my goodness, that was mighty close. Must have changed his mind, surely. What on earth was that from AJ Jayaram?
Yeah, it's a lovely return of serve. So. Yeah, backhand clear goes long, which would tend to suggest that I am indeed right that there's a drift. The shuttle flying a little bit faster, going towards that far side. So the players change ends in this third undersiding game. Kadambi, the world number four, appears to be in command with this five-point advantage. six-point advantage. Yeah, just instead of reacting as he had been forced to do in the early stages, Shrikanth, the reason he's ahead in this deciding game is that he's been able to play his normal attacking game. Net shot from AJ Jayaram. That was magnificent. The backhand cross court net shot. Look at that. Played to perfection. So much for my theory that Shukanth looked as if he was in command when he had that six point advantage. The umpire has spotted what I spotted, which is somebody right behind the court with a flashlight on their camera. Mm -hmm. Tournament referee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the public address saying, please do not use flashlights on the cameras. It's very distracting for the players especially when it's right behind the court. So back level 12 all. Six straight points for AJ Jayaram. What a fascinating contest. Oh, yes. Well, once again, Shrikanth just walks away from the net, doesn't pick up the shuttle himself. Yeah. Problem with playing 
the backhand from deep in court. You turn your back to the net. You can't see where your opponent is. Just watch AJ here. Yeah, back to the net. You can't see the court, can't see your opponent. Oh, well taken. So quick onto the net shot. Great play from Shekant. Yeah. Finds the line. Look at that. Inch perfect. Well, Shrikant's warned about something, but we have no idea what because our umpire covered her microphone. One has to assume it's about the game, about the match, and therefore it'd be nice to know what's been said, but that is perfect. <laughs> yeah, Shrikant's looking to go forward, looking to pounce on the net shot. And AJ Jayaram, he's such a good tactician, such a good thinker on court, mixing it up. Well, both players walking away from the net after the error there. As I was saying earlier, and sportsmanship dictates that it's the player who's made the error, hit the shuttle into the net, should pick it up for an opponent. Hand it back nicely. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, it certainly was. Finds the line again, does Jayaram. Oof. That called out. That must have been mighty close. Overdone it. It was a nice idea. Mm. The frustration, quite obvious from Jayaram. Arms in the air in despair. Yeah. His opponent now just two points away from a place in tomorrow's final. Now just the one with the error on the return of serve. Four match point opportunities for the world number four. Well, it was called in. Over 17, 20. 
from there. That's what it... Well, what happened there? Did the umpire overrule? What on earth was going on? I'm not sure. Anyway, the players seem to know. It's called in. Two match points saved, another two remain for this man. Third time of asking, and Shrikant Kirambi beats his teammates in three games. AJ Jayaram, what a tournament he's had. But the number one seed safely through to tomorrow's final. Needed three games to do it. Just under 50 minutes for his victory. 17-21, 21-15, 21-18 the deciding game. And Shrikanth Gidambi reaches his second final of the year. Of course, he was beaten finalist at the second Grand Prix Gold event in his home country of India. Their confirmation, 49 minutes needed, and he's through to a second final of the year. 21-18 in the deciding game. So we turn our attention after the two singles, the women's singles and uh, just now the men's singles, we turn our attention to doubles. And it's women's doubles and Bowie Singh and Tang Huan Ting, fresh from victory at the All England Championships last week, up against the number two seeds, Muskins and Peak.
also the new stars of World Badminton in women's doubles, this brand new pairing of Bao Yixin and Tang Xuanting. Bao Yixin, of course, is holder of the Swiss Open title, having won the title last year with Tang Jinhua. Dutch pair were quarter-finalists a year ago, losing out to a certain Bao Singh and Tang Jinhua, who, as I've just said, went on to, the, to take the title. And there is the defending champion, Bao Yixin. 22 years of age from Yiyang in Hunan province in southern China. Her partner is even younger, at the age of 20. She's from Nanning, the capital of Guangxi in southern China, also known as the Green City because of its lush tropical foliage. There is Selina Peak, the 23-year-old from Blarikum in North Holland. Oh, and there's Tang Huan Ting. Well, after one tournament, Chinese pair come into the world ranking as 109. There is Efia Muskins, the 25-year-old from Oli in southern Netherlands. Up one place in the world ranking, the Dutch combination to number 11. And that's back up to their career high. So it's a seventh week in total at number 11 in the world ranking. Formed their partnership, the Dutch pair at the 2013 Dutch International, reached the semi-final of that. And of course, a year ago, they were bronze medalists at the European Championships in Kazan. First semi-final of the year for the number two seeds from Holland. Now their opponents, Bowie Sin and Tang Hu.